Sometimes it's hard to understand how you feel, but understanding your feelings can help you to make good decisions. We are going to meet two kids, Logan and Olivia. We will read about their experiences. We will think about how they might feel. Then we'll read about what Logan and Olivia can do to understand their feelings. Logan is nine years old. He has been swimming since he was just a little kid. He has pictures of himself enjoying the pool before he could walk. He joined the swim club when he was in kindergarten. He has even won a trophy for being the fastest. Logan really likes a group of boys in his class. All the kids like them, in fact. They're the most popular boys in the third grade. Logan wants to be good friends with these boys, even though they tease him about swimming. The chlorine in the water can make Logan's hair look a little unusual, and the boys tease him about that. The boys think swimming is something just for fun not a sport like basketball. Soon it's time for Logan to sign up for swim club again. Logan tells his parents he doesn't want to swim this year. They are surprised. They remind him how much he loves to swim. He tells them he wants to join the basketball team. They are even more surprised. They don't understand why he wants to quit swimming. Logan hesitates a moment. He can't decide what to do. He wants to belong to the popular group at school, but his parents are right. He really wants to stay in the swim club too. He doesn't know what he wants anymore. Logan is really confused. Stop. To decide, Logan needs to understand how he feels. Naming your feelings is an important step in learning how to make good decisions for yourself. Sometimes it's not easy to give your feelings a name. Let's go back to Logan's story. Let's see if we can name some of the emotions he might have. When Logan is swimming, he feels content. He enjoys how fast he can go in the water. When he won his trophy, he felt proud and joyful. When Logan is with the boys at school, he feels excited, but he isn't sure if he's doing the right thing around them. So he feels uncertain too. It's not unusual to have more than one feeling about something. When they make jokes about his hair, he feels embarrassed. When he's playing basketball with them, Logan feels lucky, but he sometimes makes mistakes. Then he feels frustrated. Caution. We named some of Logan's feelings. If Logan understands how he feels, it's easier for him to decide what to do but identifying the feelings is only part of the process of understanding them. What do you think Logan should do next? Logan might want to talk about his feelings. Sometimes this can be hard to do, but talking about your feelings with someone you trust often helps in understanding the situation and deciding what to do. Go. Logan followed a process. First, he thought about his situation. Then, he identified how he feels. Last, he talked with his parents about his feelings. Now, Logan should find it easier to make a decision. If you were Logan, what would you do? Would you stay in the swim club or join the basketball team? Olivia is in third grade. 
She has three best friends. Their names are Samantha, Emily, and Mia. She thinks they are super smart. Emily is really good at math. When Olivia is confused about a math problem, sometimes Emily helps. Sometimes Emily doesn't help. Olivia thinks her friends are also very cool. They wear the latest fashions. Sometimes all four girls talk about what to wear to school. They even plan their outfits together. Olivia likes dressing like the other girls, but she can't always do that. Sometimes she doesn't have the same kind of clothes. When that happens, Olivia asks for new clothes. Her parents usually tell her she has enough clothes. The next day, when Olivia isn't wearing the same outfit, her friends act differently around her. They act like they don't want to play together. One day, Samantha, Emily, and Mia are dressed the same. They ignore Olivia. Olivia is by herself at recess. Liz starts talking to her. Olivia and Liz talk for a long time. They have a lot of fun. They find out that they both love making bracelets. Samantha, Emily, and Mia don't think making bracelets is cool. The next day, Olivia wears one of her bracelets. She brings one for Liz. The other girls notice the bracelets. After school, they tell Olivia that she can't be friends with them if she is friends with Liz. They say Liz isn't like them. Olivia doesn't know what to do. She likes being friends with Samantha, Emily, and Mia but she has a lot of fun with Liz. She doesn't understand why she has to choose. Stop. Olivia needs to understand her feelings. Let's review what that means and how she can do it. What's the first thing Olivia needs to do? That's right. She needs to name her feelings. Olivia can ask herself questions about how her friends make her feel. This can help her identify her feelings. Let's go back to Olivia's story. Let's see if we can think of questions Olivia could ask herself about her feelings. Olivia likes her friends because they are smart but she can ask herself this question. How do I feel when Emily helps me? How do I feel when she doesn't help me? Olivia also likes her friends because they have cool clothes, but she can ask herself these questions. How do I feel when I don't have the same clothes? How do I feel when they don't want to play with me? Let's think about Liz. What questions could Olivia ask herself about being friends with Liz? Caution. Now Olivia understands how she feels. She is ready to take the next step. Can you remember what that is? That's right. Olivia should talk about her feelings with someone she knows and trusts. Olivia can talk about her feelings with another adult that she trusts. She can talk to her aunt or to her teacher. Talking about feelings won't make the problem go away, but it will make Olivia feel better. Go. Now Olivia is ready to make a decision. What do you think Olivia should do? Discuss. What is this text about?